Hey, this is Mike Ringwald, Northwest Fight Scene, interviewfightscene.com. I'm here on the phone with Pat Bam Bam Healy, ahead of uh, his fight this Saturday in uh, Ridgefield, Washington, against Rick Hahn at Titan FC 35. Man, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling great, Mike. I appreciate you a lot for having me on. All right. Well, hey, this is a, a big fight. Uh, your second title defense for Titan FC in a lightweight division. Talk about the fight. Uh, well, I think uh, Rick Hahn's a very tough opponent. I mean, he's an Olympian, so, you know, that obviously shows a high level. To get to that level, I mean, you have to be a pretty dedicated athlete. Um, and, uh, you know, he's got some knockout power, so I think he's very dangerous. I think we have similar styles where we both kind of like that upper body clinch clinch stuff. Um, so I think it'll be a tough fight. I think I'll just be able to wear him down and, and finish him in the later rounds. Right on. Now, uh, Rick Hahn, he's, uh, you know, he had some Oregon connections. Obviously, you have connections down there from being from there. Uh, what's that like uh, now? You, you've been three, four years, I think, since you fought in the Portland area. How's that feeling? Oh, I'm super excited. I mean, anytime you can have your friends and family come and root you on, uh, it's always a good thing. So, you know, it's nice to have kind of the crowd in your corner uh as i know they will be i know a lot of my friends are coming out you know having a bunch of, of my teammates from rose city uh on the on the card too uh you know we'll have a pretty pretty pro uh pro rose city card uh you know crowd going on out there right now uh, rose city uh that's just been that uh, gym you, you guys it's been taken off uh why do you think that is well, I think we got a great crew of guys there. You know, uh, Mike Pierce owns the gym right now, and, uh, you know, uh, he just attracted kind of all the top guys in the area, and, you know, we've got good camaraderie there, and it's just something that uh, I think is just kind of coming together. I think over the next, you know, year or two, you're going to see, you know, the guys. Uh, we got a lot of young guys, so I think you'll see a lot of them making uh, – making waves and uh you know especially once we get everything uh running 100 percent at the gym now uh i know for this fight i heard that you had uh, done some training down with that uh cerrone's uh, bmf ranch is that true yeah you know i've been going down there a lot now uh you know that's my my second team uh you know i love it down there we got a good crew of guys who all help each other get ready and and who are really competitive and you know it's it's uh donald has the kind of the bank role to train like you've always dreamed of training you know we have a gym in his house and you know like we got you know there's usually between five to ten guys that are training and we got two coaches always with us so it's like, man, it's the dream way to train, you know. You can just go out to the gym anytime you want. Right. Uh, you know, it's 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 really great. Right. Now, who, who are you working with down there this, uh, for, this, for this fight? Uh, well, you know, I was, was helping Paul Felder get ready for his fight that he just had in, in the UFC, um, which was a great fight. Uh, unfortunately, he lost, but it was a great fight. And... Uh, um, you know, Donald was down there just, uh, you know, he's keep, he's got his title fight in December. So he's just kind of staying, staying loose. And we had another, another group of guys from, uh, like Jonathan Webb, who's also in the UFC, come from New Jersey, mm -hmm. brought some other guys. And then, uh, you know, the coaching is really what helps me a lot. Javari Varner is a wrestling coach and Henry Smith, the striking coach. I mean, obviously, Cowboys has some of the most elite striking in the in the game. So, uh, you know, getting to work with his coach uh, has really helped me come along. Right on. Now, uh, talk about working with uh, Titan FC. Uh, they they kept you pretty busy this year. This is a, your third fight in like six, seven months with them. Uh, talk about working with them. Man, it's great. I mean, that's pretty much all I asked was to stay busy. You know, and. Uh, Man, they've they've kept me busy. So <laughs> I think they've thrown me on every car that they've had since I've been signed with them, and that's that's the way I like it. So I still I still feel good. I still you know my body still feels good and is recovering fast. So anytime I can just fight and then be recovered, I'm ready to fight again. This is what I do, you know. So no time no no time off. 
All right. Uh, well, you know, I, I was going to ask you about that. I mean, you've been fighting since, what, 2000 or 1999 or whatever. I mean, and you're only 32, but you've had, you know, 55 plus pro fights or something like that. And talk about that longevity factor. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't know. My body still feels good. Like, sometimes when I think about that, I'm like, geez, man, you've been, you've been fighting forever. Like, maybe, maybe you're getting towards the end. But, you know, I still love training. I think that's really what keeps me uh, going is that I love MMA, man. I couldn't, this is all I've ever wanted to do since I was, you know, 15 years old. And getting to wake up every day and, and just have training on the horizon is, is like the greatest thing that you know I I ever could have imagined as a kid. So getting to live this life, it's 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 my true love, and I, I feel very blessed. And that just keeps me motivated every day. So uh, luckily, knock on wood, I've been pretty injury free. So as long as that keeps going, I'll I'll, I'll keep fighting. Awesome, awesome. Uh, and one more uh, question, uh, and this is a. Uh, this has to do with the news this week. I've heard a lot of fighters' reactions to Nick Diaz, but uh, I haven't heard yours. And you are the one fighter who actually has been hurt the most, you know, obviously getting 130 grand stripped from you a couple of years ago at the UFC. What was your reaction this week? Uh, I mean, I think it's ridiculous. I know it's his third offense. Uh, I mean, so... It, that's a tough spot, but man, I mean, come on, like, when are, when are they going to get over this and, and start punishing people for only things that negatively affect the fight, you know? Right. Things that can hurt your opponent, like, I mean, weed is legal in Oregon and Washington and, you know, and the medical marijuana in California, and he's got his medical card, like, there's such a double standard, we don't know, we don't even really know, like, what are the rules, you know? It's not like they're really clear about, you know, exemptions and stuff like that. So I just think it's crazy. And, man, when are they going to get over it and just let that go? And, uh, you know, I you know, I just hate to see a man, you know, he, his whole livelihood is taken from him for five years. I mean, what's he going to do? Right. Well, it's just, you know, the, the power of the commission and, and the commission members aren't really... And more politicians than anything else. Uh, yeah, that's exact. That's exactly right. I mean, there's no. They don't. They just make up. Oh, they don't like this guy. Well, let me stick it to him. Oh, okay. Well, it's Anderson Silva. Uh, well, let's just let him off with a slap on the wrist. Right. Right. Boy. Uh, well, hey, I, and again, I don't want to take up too much of your time. Uh, this is a big fight uh, Saturday main event, Titan FC 35. Uh, I, I know you got to give uh, some shout outs to sponsors and, and other people, so uh, go ahead and do that. Uh, yeah, man, I want to thank uh, Weston Kia, The Throne, um, Gamma O, uh, everybody for supporting me, all my teammates, and I uh, hope you all make it out to the show. It's going to be a good one. All right, on now. Uh, if you don't make it, it's going to be on UFC Fight Pass. Uh, and I believe it starts at 6 p.m. Uh, West Coast time. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, again, thank you for your time. Pat Bam Bam Healy with Northwest Fight Scene. Appreciate the time, sir. Hey, thank you.